There's a ball to be played in behind that, Antonio. The, the game, the game did that on its own. The game pulled it to the right and put it top corner. Thank you, game. So episode one received a ton of suggestions from you guys for players we should sign, players we should sell, positional changes, and we're going to get through a lot of that in today's episode. We also played our first game of the season. We got through preseason for a starter. We didn't sell anyone. We didn't sign anyone, but we did get through the first game in the Premier League, and we beat Newcastle. 1-0. Not as exciting as the fixture IRL. It ended like 4-2, was it? 4-1, something like that. Uh, but Katsuma getting a red card, and it was very much so a red card. I can confirm that. If you saw it, you saw it, and you'd agree. Uh, so he is suspended, and uh, let's just get straight to this first comment I read, which is from Ahmed, which is, convert Bornals to a cap and Velasic to a left mid because Velasic with his pace would be better on the left. Is he right footed? He is right footed. So that would make sense to move him to the left. And uh, obviously funnels back to being a cap. Only take two weeks. Perfect. I think they have slightly adjusted that this year. So funnels to a cam. It's going to take a month. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, so we will just move them around straight away like that. They, they keep their boost ratings exactly the same actually but yeah the, the team felt good the gameplay for one felt really really good when we played last episode as always if you guys go on and enjoy today's video leave it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe to the channel turn the bell on so don't miss a future video and i have put a few players on the transfer list being read 33 71 rated center back we could get like 800k for him 900k Yarmolenko can't see us using him. Winger, 31, 76 rated. Might be able to get 6 million. And Masuaku could get 10 million. Real Sociedad offered 10.6, but we rejected that. 27, 77 rated. Because you guys have actually put a really, really good left back suggestion who West Ham are linked to IRL. And that is Taglafico. Uh, he would cost around about 35 milli he would cost a lot of money uh, but if we can create some funds we'll definitely bring him in 28 years old though and uh Creswell's 31 at 82 rated he would be good what are we gonna be here a couple of seasons of west ham three seasons it'd be like 31 so realistically he wouldn't go down in rating too much Devon putting a seasonal objective, whatever we call it. We did it in the last grow mode, last FIFA uh, in the Chelsea. Uh, so season, seasonal objectives. He's saying get 20 assists with your midfield pivot. Forfeit, sell your highest rated player. So that's the first one. We will actually confirm the season objectives after the transfer window. So as soon as transfer deadline day is over, we will confirm it. Uh, but yeah, make sure you submit your objectives for the season for example in the Chelsea Mason Mount get 25 goal contributions we didn't do that if you don't know the forfeit we went to worldside.com put the starting 11 in a wheel spun it and it ended on Chilwell we had to release him which was really bad because we didn't do as well the next season um because putting crosses into Lukaku etc so getting 20 assists with the midfield pivot is that both players would you say because they're, they're, they're both CDMs they're both CDMs. So, if Soychek gets 10, Declan Rice gets 10, is that complete? Or does Declan Rice quite literally have to get 20 assists? A lot of you guys suggesting that we actually go in and get Lingard. Can we loan him? No, we can't. We could buy him for just 15 million. I mean, he would be a really, really good player to sign. Um, but strike-wise, you guys are saying going for Adam Rozek. Um, 15 million can get that deal done. You guys saying that's the most realistic striker we've got on here. We also have Darwin Nunes we need to put on the shortlist. So wait until his scout report comes back. He had a really good Euros. Um, it's, it's a little old though, being 25, but Patrick Schick. And he'd cost a lot of money. He'd cost 30 million. He'd cost twice as much as Adam would. We, we're going to go in for him. We, we're going to make this guy our first signing here at West Ham. 14.4 million. I mean, I, I love these graphics. It's a lot better. Look at these cutscenes. Have we just agreed? We have. You know, we did all this. We shook the hand down. We've agreed. All we need now is for Adam to agree the contract. 
There he is. Who's the daddy? We will have the uh, creator club coming soon, by the way. I might record that tomorrow. So um, the, the day you're watching this, tomorrow, the creator club might be out. Five year deal, rotation. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we want. Wages, 30k. Uh, 50k signing on bonus. What you say? He's got Diogo Simononi as his manager. Oh, he wants the big bucks. 195k signing on bonus. Our first signing is complete. Adam Luzek, welcome to West Ham. Exciting player. Exciting signing. Stuff you love to see. What's his pace like? He's got 78 pace. Shooting 75. Passing 71. Dribbling 76. Four star weak foot. Of course, he's going to improve as a player. But this uh, this formation, the 4-2-3-1, I'm excited to see how we do with this, to be honest, with the free cams. Uh, I think it's going to be good with Lanzini, Banorama. Um, we we mm, could look to get rid of Lanzini, I guess, and bring someone else in. So let me know in the comments. We have a transfer offer from Atletico Madrid for so check. No, no, thank you. I mean, that is never going to happen. We have a transfer offer from Inter Milan for... Yarmolenko. Let's, let's try and get some money for him here. Let's try and put this up to 7.5 million. What are you saying? What are you saying? What's he saying? He's full on rejected it. He is walked out. If they if they offered six, I'd have been like, yeah, sure. But, you know, okay. I guess I overdid it. They did that last episode as well. A team. So I guess you can't push them too much. Else they're off. Final scout report for Darwin. What rating is he? 76. Too late now. We've 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 gone and signed Adam. Club Bruge come in for um for Yarmolenko. That's a little bit more like it. He's definitely not an inner Milan player, that's for sure. Six point five million. Maybe his contract. That's a weird camera angle. Is um it's Brian Commander of the Air. What's he saying? They say no. They walk out as well. They quite literally just say no. They're not counter offering. They are not counter offering or offering whatsoever why is Declan Rice getting a uh, a negative rating one thing we could try and look for or test is how long it could take Declan Rice or Sojcek to go from a CDM to center midfielder because last fee for this took ages 107 weeks it, they still haven't how did it take 107 weeks to go from a CDM to a midfielder it's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous 50 weeks I mean, that's a yeah. It's absolutely crazy, that is. But I'm actually really excited to get into this game uh, against Leicester City to, to play the game. So Diop will be starting over Zuma because of his suspension. No other changes. I mean, we could play Holozek out wide if we need to. Could play him on the left. Bring him on um, if we don't want to take Antonio off. So he is a good signing, really good signing. So first home game off the new campaign here in the Premier League. Exciting stuff. Really, really good win with 10 men against Newcastle. We fought hard and we should have scored more goals to be honest. That's a ball in behind. Harvey Barnes. That's a ball to Vardy. And that's a really, really good save by the PSG goalkeeper. Ball whipped in. Easy header away. Ball play to feet. To Velasic. Good dribbling. Really good dribbling. That, that would have gone a different... I mean, passing still ass. But... Dribbling. Oh, Domi Vardy's through. Yeah, it's 1-0. It's 1-0. That is not a great start, is it? A bit hectic at the back. People all over the place. Ah, that's, that's really not a good start. Jamie Vardy's hit another one. Good save. Someone did let me know in the comments last episode. That long shot. I really OP this year. So I don't know how long it will stay like that. Maybe in two weeks, uh... The game might not be like that whatsoever. Because at the start of last year, you could score headers. Soichet doing really well. Move that on. It's, it's a foul. Ball out wide. Harvey Barnes put it in the box to Vardy. Another really good save, Ariola. We could be 3-0 down right now against Leicester. We need to get the ball up the other end of the pitch and actually do something here. To Gankov. Come on, get a foot in. Don't give away a penalty. Don't slide in. None of that. You can, if you press LT, I've heard. Nudge someone off the ball. Oh, uh, across the... Leicester are really playing well here. I tell you what, Leicester here, folks, are all over us. I thought he was going to hit that. Oh, it's 2-0. We're getting destroyed. We're getting destroyed here on ultimate difficulty. Oh, wow. 
Telemann's gonna hit it. Good save, Ariel. It could be 5-0 Leicester City, guys. We haven't even had a shot where it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's going in. You know, good safe keeper. And half time. Right, second half. We we need to go for it. Is Creswell. Pass it up. Two four nils. They're sitting back well. You know, when they have the ball, they come forward. Oh, let's try one of these long shots. So I check from range. Gonna hit one. Good save. It wasn't blocked. It wasn't blocked. Get that. Come on. Ball in behind for Madison. I'm just so happy that shot wasn't blocked. Because we just spent the last 11 months or so watching shots getting blocked. Oh, no, no, no. It to this crap. To this crap. You know, fraud top six club. Sucha, pass that up. Fornals, still Fornals. Fornals doing really well. Fornals doing really well. Oh, what a goal. Bar it in. What a goal. I thought I hit that. I thought I put way too much power on that. But it was perfect. Barring in. What a goal. Only if we scored that a couple of minutes ago before it was 3-1. Check this out. Didn't need Antonio. Went all the way. Spanish dribbling. What a finish. Okay, Leicester City moving the ball well here. Movement's good. He's going to hit what? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? When has a keeper done that? in this game when has a keeper done that in this game are you having a laugh that is crap that is so bad that is awful are you having a laugh there's no way the keeper's just done that what an idiot i was just thinking about it. let's get a second you know 20 minutes ago let's get a second and then let's get a third let's try and get a point and then the keeper goes and does that Oh, we've got an injury. We've got... Bowen's now injured. We're 4-1 down to Leicester. Keeper's just been an absolute fraud. And now, I'm not bringing you on for your debut when we're 4-1 down to Leicester. No, thank you. Oh, look at that! Look at that! See that ball in behind? I thought, oh yeah, defender's got that. It's just so quick. The, the pace of the game, so quick. Look at this pass. Oh, that's so annoying. The defender could have got that as well. That's frustrating. It's a great finish. The game, it feels like I'm playing Pez. I don't know if, if you guys are getting the same vibe. I feel like I'm playing Pez. Right, 5-1 loss to, to Leicester. I think, we can, we've, I think we've established that we probably need to go down a difficulty. Right, it's on ultimate. Have they still got that competitor mode crap? Right, turn that down to... Is Volder still a thing as well? Like, is is that... Store Seven months for Bowen. Seven months. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is not what you want, is it? That, that's not good. That's a seven-month injury there. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, Velasic's got a five-star weak foot. We'll just put him out on the right. That is frustrating. <laughs> it's really frustrating. Transfer offer for Antonio. Bear Leverkusen. No thank you. Antonio is going nowhere. Leeds United now one of them. For Struich. No thank you. We don't we don't want Struich. So now um Bowen is injured as oh, we need to make some business, man. We need to make some business. We did have some winger suggestions in the comments. Uh, we could go in for Jesse Lingard. We could go in for Jesse Lingard. We have Silas. A couple of you guys said, yeah, going for Silas. We've got Noni. So we, we could go in and put a couple of offers in for some people. So we're going to go in for Silas and, tr and try and do a swap deal here. Because we do have Lanzini. Who I'm not too sure if we'll actually ever use him. He's worth nine. Um, Silas is worth 11. So if we give them an extra 3 million with Lanzini, what are they saying? They want 4.25 4 with a 20% selling clause. We'll probably ne never sell him. Um, but if we put this down, 4 million, what are they saying? They accept. Okay. So we've got that deal we could do. Now let's go in for Jesse Lingard and, and we could do them both, to be honest. We could do them both. Um, swap player. We've, we've got rid of Lanzini in that deal. Is there anyone else we could get rid of? Bowen. <laughs> you know, let's get rid of him. Yo, guys, do you want Yarmolenko? Do you want do you want Yarmolenko? Why is everyone moving around whilst I'm doing this? 
And there he is, Ollie. He's talking about why he doesn't use Donny. Talking about, you know, what a fraud he is. So 10 million. What what do you say? Okay. So we have got two really good deals done. We're ready to negotiate with the players. That is progress. The pepper, the pears, they're both on the table. The hair colors changed for some reason to gray just then. Yeah, I've, I think Waman's got a, a wow. I think Silas has got a much better agent now. He's, he's got rid of the last one. Um, so, Silas, welcome to West Ham. We have that deal done. Now going in for Jesse Lingard. He should have re-signed for West Ham IRL. I'm a United fan. I was quite annoyed we didn't sell him, to be fair. He wants 64k a week, 430k son and on bonus. It's fine by us, Jesse Lingard. Welcome back to West Ham United. Some really good signings there. Some really good signings. We'll put Fornals out on the left for now. Uh, Jesse Lingard there. Silas bench play can come on. We obviously convert that position to a winger if we were to bring him on. But we've made some really, really good business there. Three signings in today's episode and we've still got many more to come. I think we may have missed Zuma um, in the last game. That, that's to say. Please, sir, we've got a... Don't, I was going to say, please say we have a transfer offer for Masuaku. Um, so we do have 22 million left in the transfer budget. And Takla Fico, they'd want between 29 and 40 million for him. So we could go in here and try and do another swap deal. Um, Masuaku on the table plus 12 million. Just, just, just testing the waters real quick. They want 23 million. Plus Masuaku. That is something we're definitely not going to do. It was 16 million. How about 16 million and a 15% uh, salon clause if we were to sell him? They still want 25. I'm just going to reject that. Obviously, Tagla Fico linked with West Ham United, IRL. He would be a really, really good um, player to sign at left back. But put some more left back suggestions in the comments because it does look like we will be getting rid of off Masuaku when we get a uh, transfer offer coming for him. We're going to have to rotate going into this game. We're going to have to play Fredericks and Adam Holzek. We could play Silas up top as well, by the way. We we could play Silas, but we're going to play Adam this game. Uh, and Silas might come on because Velasic is a little tired as well. Legendary Crystal Palace. Let's get three points here. We should have done a lot better last game. Okay, some really, really good passing so far. We've got Jesse Lingard here and completely dispossessed the ball. Adam winning it and then getting dispossessed. Yeah, this game's definitely going to be better. That's a ball in behind. Here's Edouard. He's already had a good start for Crystal Palace IRL. And that's a really good save. Areola. That's a nice pass out wide. Bornals. Ball in behind to Creswell. Now looking for Adam. He's going to turn his man. He's going to look to hit one on his right. Oh, not a bad effort. Not a bad effort. Long shots definitely are better. Definitely are better. Good header, Jesse Lingard. I was just thinking we could maybe put him out on the left. But he's in the centre for now. Bornals. I mean, he's just poor, that is. It's poor. What, what, why are you making that run like that? And not going to the ball. Declan Rice. Little pass there. Suchet making the run. Back to Adam. Oh, Lingard's tackled him. Lingard in the middle. Coming forward. That's a good run by Declan. We're going to look for Adam, though. In behind. That's a foul. Is it not? Referee says no. So I check. Here's Jesse Lingard. In behind to Adam. Back to Jesse Lingard. I probably should have shot there. We win a corner, though. Very lucky to win a corner here. We're going to go short. Now we're going to go edge of the box. We're going to make the most of this long shot. Declan Rice there, one for Rage. Every long shot seems to be somewhat good. Okay, some nice passing here. Crystal Palace coming forward. Oh, come on, you need to get a foot in there. You need to get a foot in there. Oh, look at this in behind. What a save, keeper. What a save. Crystal Palace, we can't drop points to Crystal Palace. Come on, have you seen the squad we've got? We're a lot better than that. We're a lot better than that. Creswell, keep the ball. Throw into them. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they, he really messed that one up. Hughes did. Oh, that's a nice pass. I didn't mean to do that. Jesse Lingard. 
Here's Adam. Flick that over the top. Can he hit that first time? No, he can't. Defender does well. Come on, Lingers. Win the header. Oh, that's a bad clearance. Here's Rice. We're going to wind one up from... Okay, there's 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 a, a FIFA 20, a FIFA 21. Long shot. That's a ball across. Okay, you're down with that. Really, really good. What is this run? The same old... The same old... From last FIFA is in this. It's stupid. We get the ball and everyone starts making a run in behind. I haven't told him to do that. Oh, I, I want support and that. What is that for a pass? Ball over the top. P passing in FIFA has been absolutely awful for five, six, seven years. Awful. We're 1-0 down to Palace. Really not happy about that. I can't even see. I can't even see this bloody player. Right? Well, here we go again. Here we go again. Play. We can't see the bloody idiot. And he, he's, he's getting it behind as well. What is going on? I can't see him because he's got stupid ass graphic up on the screen telling me about some crap I'm not even reading. So I check. Get it. Come on. Go on. Get in the butt. Get in the butt. That's a ball. That's a ball. It's the, the, just bloody runs again. Now they're in behind. Come on, get across, get across, get across. Don't lose to Palace. We're, we're, we're losing to Palace. We're losing to Crystal Bloody Palace. Okay, here's Adam. I'm going to pass that out wide to Fredericks. Back to Adam. Okay, this is good. Good dribbling there. Eventually dispossessed. It's just defensive. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What was that? What was that? Is, is, the, is the AI getting some of the passing like FIFA players get real, real people? Is Creswell on the inside? Is he on side for a starter? What is that? We keep, we keep the ball. Lingard. Fredericks. Back to Lingard. Looking for his left. Dispossessed. Oh, well done. Well done there. Well done there, Fornals. I like that. Good stuff. Still Fornals. Still Fornals. Still Fornals. Still Fornals. What a player. He really is. Good, isn't he? Here he is. Fornals. That's a goal back. What a player. He may not be rapid, but he has good physical strength and is great at dribbling. I tell you that. He's got a good finish on him as well. At near post on that left foot. Right, get in. Let's make a sub. Let's at least get a point here. We have to get a point. Going to move Velasic over there for four. Not, I mean, I'm just saying how good he is. And then we go and take him off. Um, yeah, let's probably move you to a, to a right winger, my friend. Right, we're going to bring on Masuaka. Right, they're the changes we're going to make. Let's get a point here against Palace. That's a tackle. Beautiful stuff. Adam to Lingard. Back to Adam. In behind. Straight away. Come on, let's get a goal back. He saved it. How have we not scored that? How have we not scored that? I shouldn't have stopped sprinting. Ball whipped in. Who's that out to? It's out to Silas. It's going to maybe take a long shot there. Silas, pa pass that back. Now to Silas. A shot from range. It's blocked. That's annoying. Ball in behind. Great tackle. Great tackle. Let's pass that up the line. Make that a good one. It's Masuaku. He's got fresh legs. He definitely has fresh legs. And go pass that in the middle. That is crap. That is absolutely awful. That is. What was that? We have to make this count now. We have to make this count. Forward pass. Boom. What are you doing? How's he just been knocked and then stopped his momentum? What the hell? Look at this. Look, look at Adam there making the run. Oh, I've been... Uh, what a... What a prat. What a prat. And that's it. We lose to Crystal Palace. Chris, Crystal who? If they haven't done anything ever. Right. They finished second in FA Cup once. Right. Really not happy about that. We've got transfer deadline day, which will be next episode because you guys need to put your suggestions down below we at least need three episodes to uh, to have um the transfer window open getting comments in etc these are the finances right now uh i'd say we need around about 90k in the wage budget so 26 million to spend uh we still have players on the transfer list to get rid of we haven't sold anyone have we we've made swap deals masuaku and reed so we're looking at around about 11 million there to, to be added on so 
35 million or so. Round about there. So if we're signing someone on 100k. So we've got some good wages, some good transfer budget to go out there and, uh, and maybe sign a center back, a, a left back. We look good going forward now. Eventually, we do need probably another midfielder uh, as, as Noble really offers absolutely nothing, especially at that 35 pace. But yeah, get, get, get in the comments, put your suggestions, figure out why we're playing so bad, even if we put the, uh, the difficulty down to the legendary. If you guys have enjoyed the episode, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.